Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to customize and use my F1 2019, 20 and 21 intro graphic. So the project is actually called Full Race Intro, but that's only because it includes all the country facts as well. So let's just start by looking here, closing these two. This is what you'll get. You won't get the music. You can download that. So we're go, going to go first with infographic. It's not the best name, I know, but. And then if we look here, it, the animation, and then it goes all of that. So we're going to go to text. As you can see in here, this has all of that. Just like that. So first, first of all, just go from the top. So in terms of the race name. I would type it out in Word first, but we're just going to change it to Formula One Grand Prix. Okay, I just came up with a really random name. It's just Formula One Grand Prix of USA. So you want to click Control A and click Copy, and then go to Outline and then click V. Now the outline has the same, but over here, once this is box selected, you just want to click no fill color now as you can see that works and you can do that for the entire thing it's as long as you you know do that now if i just quickly show you with a mask sometimes uh, a little letter can appear it's hard to show you without actually seeing it but basically sometimes a little letter can appear around here when only this text is appearing so what you'd have to do is use this mask to cover it up and then reveal it when it's actually needed so we have that there now i'm just going to change it this year text you see there's a composition saying year text so we're just going to change red you just want to go all the way to the end using your arrow keys, click delete, uh, backspace, and click one. Then you want to select white, go to the end, click backspace, and then click one. And now you can see that that works. I am planning to make it animated. That is coming. Next, we're going to look at race name, which is... Sorry, race number. Just change that to anything. Uh, let's go with what's I think it's 18. Race that's fine. Round number. Now you want to go down to text and go to the very last um, keyframe. Then you want to change that last keyframe to the race number. Then you get it like that. It may look a little bit odd, but there isn't really anywhere. Th the way to do it. Next we're going to change the location. Now I'm pretty sure the American Grand Prix is in Texas so we're going to go to Texas. They want to think that they want to do three spaces and put USA or whatever it is. And you want to find separator. Let's zoom out a bit and just use the arrow keys to move it into position. And if the gap's too big and you can always take out some of them and you know just just the position and that actually looks pretty good so if we just look at infographic this is what we've got so far so there's that it says grand prix of usa because it may lag a bit with playback but that's fine And then it says Texas, USA. Right, next we're going to do the flag. The flag is interesting. We kind of need to like, we need, need to line it up. So you want to select actual position on there. And then you just want to use the arrow keys to move it over to where it needs to go, which is there. As you can see, it comes up now. Now, perfect. Although it's not quite right, it's a bit too far away. So we do like that. Good. If you open up flag, 
um, we have the flags here. But you may also see it is quite small. Now, you need to basically resize the um, flag to that size. So I'm just going to quickly show you now. So we're just going to get the USA flag. I find it's good to go on Wikipedia and copying this one. That's what I've done for all of them. We're just going to put it in the full race in row folder and we're going to call it USA. Then, then you want to open it up with a photo editing software. So for me, I'm going to just use paint.net mainly because it's super easy to use and it's super easy. So it's 52 by 34. So you're just going to go to image, resize, put 52 in there and 34 in there. And you make sure that is not checked. Click OK. I'm going to save it. Then in here, I'm just going to drag in the USA flag. Drag it underneath a white glow. And now he has the USA flag. If we get it now into a graphic, let's see. So that appears on the race name. And then it's Texas, USA. Right, that's good. Next, we're going to go on to the facts. So this can be a little bit difficult to do, especially with the red line that comes up. So we're going to, no. So we're going to go to country facts. Let's first just change the flag. You can literally just do the same here, drag it in. And we're going to change the country to USA. It's a flag position. I just, you know, select it and use the arrow keys to move it. The 2021 needs to be changed to 2021. And now we need to um, do the facts. Let's just do fact one first. It said, it says that. that now I'm just going to quickly get a f some facts off the internet and I'll be, be back after that. Okay, so I found two facts here. Um, United States is the only country on Earth with five climate zones and it's the largest economy. So we're just going to type them in. So first of all, just going to click Control C, go to After Effects, and you just want to double click Fact 1, click Control V. Mm. Like that. And you want to double click that, Control C, double click Fact 2 and click Control V. You also want to quickly double click Fact 2 and change the text color to red. Now, if we just have a quick look, see there, and there doesn't seem to be, oh no, see, here, there's a bit of a little red dot. So the way that we're gonna fix that, get this mask, bring it over there and cover it up. There doesn't seem to be one for the normal fact, the white, Fact. That's good. Next, we just need to um, do the actual, you know, we'll sort this all out. So we're just going to keep moving, oh, I lost for words, keep moving up the country, this, this keyframe, the second one. That means now it moves up. Now it will start moving, unfortunately. And actually, probably what will happen is the keyframes will break. Even if we go Control C on this one and go here, Control V, it will probably still move. Oh no, it's fine. Okay, next we're going to do the red line. This is a little bit difficult to do, mainly because, as you can see, there's a mask and there's a lot of stuff. So first of all, we're just going to get it so it actually goes around the fact. So if we go with our playhead over here and zoom in, we're just gonna select one of these keyframes and move it. Basically move it all the way back here. All the way back here. Basically to when back to back. Here. 
Now, if we select it, yeah. Now we can edit this. Um, now we can edit this red line that properly goes around the fact. So we're just going to select pass, and then you want to select, select shape one, just so yeah. And select path. Hold shift and click one and then another. So then you can drag and select. We're just going to select all these and hold the up arrow key just to move them up. And then you want to, I want to move it up a little bit more. Just select these end two using shift to multi select instead of control, which is really interesting. Just name, we are then going to just select all these top ones just to adjust it a bit. So it lines up. Okay. Next, we're going to do this side. So we're just going to select again all of these and holding down shift, including this one, and just hold down the arrow key just to move some. Now you can see that fully surrounds it. Don't worry about the mask, we're going to be fixing that. Now you can just move it all the way back. Play head over there, and zoom in, and just like move some really close. So now we can see, yes, the mask isn't right, but that's good. So now we're going to do the mask. You want to just go to the first mask pass, delete all these keyframes, create a new one, and basically sort of just arrange it like this. is good. Having some keyframes up here ready to move around. So there's our first one, then we'll just click page down and start moving. You probably want to move that down. What you want to do is also is try and get a nice straight line. It's good. Hold down shift on the other one and then for each frame you can simply move it without worrying or we're just going to delete all these other keyframes it's fine it's going to be pretty easy to sort that sort that out sometimes you may like select one wrong but then when we get to the corners then the hold shift on the top one and pull it down and bring in one of these keyframes over so that you can, um, so it properly goes around the corner and click the page up key on your keyboard to go back a keyframe. But when you get to, when you get close to the end, you want to make smaller movements. So it looks like the animation slows down. This is what we've got so far. Now. You may find that the red line is out of sync. So if we go to position, we can see that it is out of sync. So if we go to country and find position and go to that first keyframe, it'll probably be the, yeah, I will. But as you can see, this first keyframe here, it's not actually um, level. It's, you know, not the same level as the um actual country you know flag so if we're just going to drag on this second number just to pull it down a bit and then we're just going to use the arrow keys just to get it perfectly lined up now this should be lined up there you go so now this comes up which is good, we're just going to save it. Now, when we want the red line to disappear, it's after a couple of these words have been taken out, so we're just going to keep going keyframe down. When about two, you want to select this one here, and then basically start using these two Start hiding it away, you want to get the same. Hold on. 
No, sorry, Compl ignore me completely. Yeah, sorry, I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I just did a quick check on one of my previous videos. Basically, you need to start coming down from here. It could be a little bit... Yeah, it could be a little bit tricky, you know, when you delete all the other keyframes. But yeah, so we're just going to select them, page down, and you basically just start moving them. Okay, now that we've done, let's just have a look. So it says USA, and then the fact appears. No, oh, but this is just half. Let's just put it on full. And it, now it looks better. Yeah, the fact appears. May lag a bit, so we'll just sort of make it go back a bit. It appears. That really helped out. And then. It disappears. Let's just watch it for again quickly. So it appears. And then it disappears. And as you see here, it is slightly transparent as well. So that'll look cool on the actual video. So next we need to get the second fact. So yes, we're gonna that's what we're gonna open. Fact two. We're just gonna see there's always these keyframes here to just to show you. I'm just gonna get the second fact. Which we're just going to select factor one. I've selected econ economy since then. I'm just going to double click, control C, double click back to control V. Now we're just going to make that red. It actually looks like on the fact there is actually. Not... Oh, okay. Yeah, that is an issue. As you can see here, this is what I've been talking about. There is actually this weird thing there. I think it might be to do with because there's numbers in it. Not too bad though. With the red one, you can just cover it up. With the white one, however, it's going to delete all these. It's a little bit more difficult to do because you have to cover it up and then make it visible again as it's here. So we're just going to. Then of course, then there's that problem. So we're just going to hide it for now. Mask pass. And then the next keyframe, we're just going to move it here. Yep, here. I want to adjust that a bit. So now it's not seen. So I'd say about here. So about here, you want to drag this keyframe to be there. And you want to find this one, control C and then control C and go one keyframe, control V. That's why you move it a little bit. So now the fact appears there's sort of a bit of it there but I'm sure with other keyframes you could probably fix that no no we are gonna fix it so look here a bit of it as it moves so I think we need to Create a keyframe there and just basically move it much closer. There is a, still a tiny bit. I'm going to move it even closer to the one. You don't want to move it too close because it could start making it fade away. But that, got, I mean, hide the actual one. But that, good. Now you can't really do anything about the one, but yeah. So we're just going to hide that now. As we could see, we have the first fact, then that goes away. Then we have this one, and luckily the other fact underneath was um, that size anyway, so we don't need to worry about adjusting anything. Now, in terms of the red line, we're just going to make the path 
actually does it. So again, we're going to zoom in and this time we're going to drag the, where is it here? I'm just going to drag the second keyframe instead. Of the first one. There. I'm going to move these quite close and select all of these and just move it out, which is good. Now we can use that keyframe back. Let's just zoom in and make it closer. Good. Right. Now, if we look at the mask, we see it starts to appear one, one or two frames before that starts appearing. So we're just going to go here. See, this is this frame. So we're just going to go back to because quite a lot appear all at once. And we're just going to click keyframe here and go here. Basically, sorry. Oh, sorry. So you want to go to this mask capacity, then this one. See, now it's zero. We're just going to click keyframe and then here. No, sorry. I haven't done this in a while. Yes, sorry. Mask one here, then one here. And on this keyframe, you basically just want to rearrange it again. So it's ready to reveal the line again. It may be a little bit difficult to remember where it was. Uh, you know, remember uh, where it was. But if we just go here and just quickly, yeah, we got it right. So let's just go one, two, keyframe down, and basically start making the line appear. Okay, so from that now, we can see that we have the line. Now we're just going to see here. We also just maybe like here, a quick keyframe just to line it up. It's not necessary, but just do it. If you can get it to work. You go across. I don't know how well this is coming out and recording. Hopefully it's not too laggy. I'm just going to go one, two, one, two here. Keyframe. Just going to start then at making it disappear. Okay, that's done. If we see there's that fact. And there's that fact. Good export here. This is half. That's fine. Let's just watch it through. So there's that. And then we have that. It goes down. And then it disappears. Now we have some facts. So we have USA down there. First fact. And second fact, the with playback is a bit lag, and then it disappears. So what I find the best thing to do is to find on the internet and download drone shots of it. So we're just going to go to YouTube. It's Texas we need. I'm just going to search up Texas drone. You really won't want without um, a thumbnail if you can. For example, sorry, uh, this one has got a watermark. You want to find one without a watermark. 
this is Aust Austin, which I think. It says Austin. So you could probably put Austin, Texas or Austin, USA. I'm just going to put Texas because that's the state. We probably want, we want to put an Austin drone. We can find out. We, we know that one's got a watermark. Let's try this one. That looks quite good. These are like bits of music. Okay, this video looks pretty good. It's 14 minutes long, but that's okay. Now, in terms of you downloading, I use something called Wondershare Uni Converter. You can use whatever you want, but I'll be back once I've downloaded the video. There you go. So you just want to drag it to the bottom and go to the first keyframe, like right, first position, and just keep moving it and get past any of those intro things. That looks good. So we're just going to quickly play for it. Or like you just scrub for instead. That's the thing as well. Here you may get other text like that. So we're just going to quickly drag across again and get past that. I think this one is actually going to have like a bunch of text on it. Maybe not. Yeah, so it's, it's the infographic. We have that and that. Oh no, and then that's a problem. What I could do actually. Like here. So Go there, down, zero, just go like that. And then drag another one on the bottom. And then find a good spot to continue it. So, yeah, with these kind of drone shot videos, you may have text on the top, but if you can just sort of like manipulate it, I think that's a good one. But it does have text there. Now it's gone, okay. Transform opacity, go back one, and now it's zero. So, we have that. Good. Okay, now I'm just gonna export it. So you're gonna go to composition, add to render queue. And it needs to be QuickTime, RGB, you don't need RGB and Alpha. I'm just going to save it somewhere. You just want to export it and then put it in your video editing software, add the music, and then you'll be done. So I'm speaking in editing now. Um, I forgot to um, say, make sure to subscribe, download the link in the description, make sure to credit me and everything. The, the way that, I project, that I've made the project, you can basically edit it however you want. My next graphics I'm working on are is the full F1 2018 graphics package, you know, lower third, the top bit, intro graphic, all that stuff. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. After this, I'll put the example of the graphic that we've made today. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe. See ya.